Okay, this video is to document a little project that I did uh, with a local ham radio club. I uh, went to one of the meetings there and talked about a couple of ways you could use your oscilloscope to monitor your, your RF output of your ham radio transceiver. So this is a little project that I built here to talk about uh, you know, what it is and how to use it. So I, I built this thing to go along with uh, my little ICOM 703 QRP transceiver. Got right here. And uh, let's take a look at what this thing is. I'll just turn this thing over here, kind of see how we built this, and we'll talk about the schematic here. So, uh, really a very simple little thing, and uh, just to demonstrate some capability that you could, anybody can uh, do in their lab. So there's the schematic for this thing here, uh, and there's really two parts to it. Uh, we really have an RF input that comes in, the RF output comes out, and literally the signal just loops through here. So from an RF standpoint, there's really nothing going on other than just passing through this device. And there's really two halves to the circuit. Right here is we just have a simple uh, voltage divider. And again, the uh, values are really not very critical. I did a ratio of, you know, a little less than 100 to 1 uh, a voltage divider here. You want to size these resistors so that uh, you can handle the power that you're putting through them, or actually what they're going to be sensing. If you're doing a 100 watt transceiver, they just don't have to be 100 watt resistors. You just need to calculate the power that you would do for each of those. And then we're just going to AC couple that sampled RF signal, that attenuated RF signal, into the scope. Pretty simple. The other half is a uh, little AM detector or RF detector circuit, and there's dozens of different variations on this design. Uh, you can find them all over the internet, RF detector probe type things. And again, with the RF signal, we're just AC coupling into a pair of diodes. Uh, to essentially rectify that signal and drop it on, drop it onto this thousand puff capacitor, a little bleed off uh, resistor here, and then also coupling that into the scope. So this signal here will give us essentially the RF amplitude, or an AMD mod, whereas this signal will actually show us the RF carrier itself. And if we look at how we built this thing here, we can see it pretty easily. Uh, the RF, you know, in and out is right through here. Here's my little resistor divider between the 47k ohm resistor and the 1k ohm resistor down, or the 690 ohm resistor here, AC coupling into this guy. So that blue coax is going off to uh, one of the channels of the scope to look at the RF output. And then this side here, uh, we can see I've got my little 10 picofarad cap here coming to these 1 in 34a diodes, uh, sitting kind of down underneath here. There's the 1000 puff cap to uh, to ground, bleeder resistor, and then off to the other BNC, a little tan colored BNC there going off to the scope. So uh, so I've got the uh, the transceiver here. Uh, there we go, sitting uh, in AM mode at 7.2 megahertz, right in 40 meter band. And I'm coupling into uh, a uh, dummy load there, so we're not going to be transmitting out over the air. We just follow the coax leads out to the scope, and I can see the, the two scope uh, channels right here. So remember the blue lead right here on channel one, that's the one from our AMD, our RF RF sampler. So if I take the microphone and key it up, I can see the RF envelope very easily Okay, on the scope. Uh, if we uh, go through here, and let's turn the, uh, the speed of the, uh, the sweep way up here, Okay, we can actually see the RF carrier. Okay, So we can actually look to see if there's any distortion on the carrier. If I speak into the microphone, we can actually see the uh, amplitude modulation of that carrier. I've got the uh, transceiver in AM mode. Uh, if we slow the uh, scope back down again to oh, let's go down to oh, one or two milliseconds per division, and now if we key up and speak into the microphone, we can actually see the uh, amplitude modulation of the carrier, and uh, we can kind of make some measurements of, or at least make sure we're not flat topping, and uh, take a look and see if we're. Uh, those little bright spots when I get really loud into the microphone means we're getting pretty darn close to 100% modulation, but. Uh, we can still see that pretty easily. So now if we uh, take a look at the other channel, there we go, channel 2. This is the RF detector, so if I just key up, we can just see the amplitude just goes up here. Okay, and we're in AM mode here, so again if I uh, go in and talk to the microphone, I literally just doing an amplitude detection of, uh, of the RF signal. So I can literally see, you know, my, uh, my modulated uh, tone, you know, kind of, or excuse me, AMD mod of, uh, of my signal, so very easily. So what we can do also is we can actually show both of these together, it's kind of interesting, and uh, we'll literally be able to see both the RF carrier and the demodulated piece of it. Uh, so I've got them positioned so that um, 
the uh, detector is riding right on top of the RF, so it, it almost looks like we're just enhancing the top line. So it's just uh, another way of looking at this. So uh, what's also interesting too is that uh, since we have both of these signals, if we have the detector view drive the X input, okay, we're going to go into XY mode, and the Y input being driven by the RF, we could do what's commonly called a trapezoid measurement. So when I'm not keyed up because there's just a little bright dot on the screen, when I key up, I can see a, I can see the vertical that's being driven by the RF uh, magnitude, or excuse me, the RF carrier. But then as I speak, the X is being driven by the uh, uh, modulated tone. And people call this a trapezoid pattern. And you can kind of tell if we go all the way down to a point over there on the left, that's kind of indicating to us that we're getting close to 100% you know, modulation. We're, we're completely squelching the carrier. And if we go over to the right, uh, we can kind of see you know, the maximum amplitude. And you really want to see perfectly straight lines here uh, to show linearity. Something else we can do here, let's go back to kind of our uh, mode here. I'm going to switch the, receiver, the transceiver over to single sideband mode. And uh, if we look at single sideband, we can also look at the RF envelope of the single sideband carrier, or the single sideband signal. Single sideband doesn't have a carrier. We can actually just see the uh, modulated RF output. And uh, this is helpful to look for flat topping and look if you've got noise on your signal. So a uh, nice way to, to kind of monitor what's going on in your RF. So there's a, a simple little circuit to look at what's going on in your ham radio transceiver uh, RF output.